Whether it's robotics or immunotherapy, urology is at the forefront of medical breakthroughs that can help save and improve lives. But what's on the horizon? Let's catch up with some attendees at AUA 2025 to find out what the next big challenge is and how we're going to solve it. What do you think will be the next big breakthrough in urology this year and beyond? Wow, the big breakthrough. I think um, one of the uh, one of the big breakthroughs is using um, uh, not using surgery to do surgery, and uh, it's it's uh, scalpel's less. It's it's you don't have to make an incision, and uh, there's some great technology out there using either uh, light energy or photo. Um, um, uh, sensitive energy or using ultrasound or something similar to that. I'm seeing a lot for bladder cancer um, that's making some changes. Uh, definitely a lot of the um, techniques that they're using in uh, instrumentation looks like great stuff too. Do you see any gaps that really need to be filled? Um, the gaps I think need to be filled are like you have office-based medicine and you have hospital-based medicine. And I think that uh, when it comes from transitioning from like maybe diagnosing a patient in the office to them actually having surgery, a lot of times you have to switch doctors because the office-based urologist is more in the office and then we have to find a colleague that actually that does more hospital-based. And so I think that's a big gap and I'm hoping that urology will address that moving forward in the future. And what do you think about being here at AUA and why this is the place to be? It's great, it's exciting. You get to see everyone from everywhere. I'm from Jamaica, um, so it's really exciting to get to see colleagues that you had in other places, meet new people, make great connections. It's great, it's where you're supposed to be for neurology. We're both solo practice urologists, so this is really important for us to find, you know, to connect with our colleagues who are, you know, still doing academics and, you know, doing these trials. We find a lot of different industry and things that we can incorporate into our practice, so it's always a great meeting for us. Cutting edge technology and, you know, the tracks, are, and, and you can see the quality of publications, the quality of multi-center trials. You can't find that anywhere else in the world. The provisions for that are quite significant. That's why the whole world focuses on the AUA more than anything else. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.